Hi violins and violas. This is how to take your instrument out of the case. So I'm going to be showing you two different types of cases today. So you might either have a cloth case like this, maybe it's a different shape, it has a zipper up top, or you have a hard case like so. So I am going to be using the hard case violin or viola today, but the first thing is first, you notice I'm on the floor. We want to be on the floor so that we can get our instrument out safely and not drop it. You could also use a larger surface, like a table, as long as your instrument is not hanging over the side, or even better, a couch or a bed where it's nice and safe. But I'm gonna stay on the floor today and that's where it's probably the safest. So the first thing is that you want your case on the floor, on the right side up. So this hard case has a bump and that is the top side. So we wanna lay it in front of us with the handle facing us. If you're using the zipper case, that top zipper is going to be on the top and again, your handle facing you. So I'll show you on this hard case. So once you have it face up, handle facing towards you, you'll unbuckle those buckles open the case and I'm opening it without lifting up that case because our instrument is in there. After that, we can take our instrument out of the case. We always have two points of contact. We take our instrument up by the neck, that's this part here, never by the strings or by the bridge or any of these parts on top of our instrument. That's very careful. Once we take it from the neck, you can have your other hand grab over here by the body. You never want to be touching this part here. This is called the bridge. It's not glued on and nor should it ever be glued on. It's just held up and it's holding up the strings there. So you wanna be very careful of that and not to bump any of these pegs or anything like that when we take it out. So again, slide that hand underneath the violin or viola neck and grab down here by the body. After that, you can start to play your instrument. When you're done with your practicing and it's all set, again, two points of contact, we're gonna lay that instrument flat in its case. Make sure that it's really settled in there. You shouldn't have to force it and you put it away. Before you put it away, you might have a shoulder sponge. There might be different spaces in your case and we'll talk about that on your first lesson for your shoulder sponge. But if you're, you don't have a pocket that's big enough for your shoulder sponge, you put it right over the scroll or maybe off to the side. You never want to put it on top of your instrument body or especially the bridge. Even though it lo might look like there's space on the top part of your case, that's actually space for the bridge. We never want anything on there to crush it. So once that shoulder rest is in there, we close up our case, make sure those clasps are completely done up or the zippers all the way around if you have a zipper case and then you're good to go. Always double check that it's fully closed or those zippers are closed so that when you pick it up you don't accidentally drop out your instrument. The only other thing to mention is some cases have an extra little seat belt, that's what I call it, that goes over and around the violin or viola neck and that's just an extra step that you can do and that just helps hold it in there to avoid any accidents. And that's how you put in and take out your violin or viola from your case.